scheme that you can use to add variety and contrast to your home. Hi everyone, it's Carol from Discover Interior Design and I'm so glad you're here. Well, in this video, we're going to be talking about complementary color schemes and how to use the complementary color scheme of orange and blue in your home. So we'll talk about orange and blue, some color theory around those colors, and then also talk about how to approach using orange and blue in your home. So let's get started. So first thing, let's take a look at how we even figure out what a complementary color scheme is. And let's take a look at a color wheel. And a color wheel is just a way of organizing colors. And we can look at a really basic color wheel that has six different colors. And those colors are set up in a specific sequence. There's a reason why each of those colors is next to one another and that it goes in a certain direction. And this color wheel can be separated into two different categories. One of them is what we call the primary colors. And the primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. And the primary colors are colors that we don't use other colors to create them. We don't mix two different colors together to get red or yellow or blue. Then the other colors, the other three colors are what is referred to as the secondary colors. The secondary colors, which are orange, purple, and green, are created by mixing two other colors together. In fact, we mix other primary colors together to get those secondary colors. And when we want to create a complementary color scheme, we want to figure out which colors are complementary colors to each other, all we have to do is look straight across from one color to another color. So in this video, we're talking about orange and blue. So we're going to notice that when we look across from the color blue, we see the color orange. And that's just called a complementary color scheme. Those are complementary colors. And there are a couple cool things about complementary colors. One is that they're created right just from looking for the color that is opposite the other color on the color wheel. Then the other thing about complementary colors is that they are totally opposite, not just opposite on the color wheel, but totally opposite in that they are not related to one another. When we think about the color orange, you'll notice on the color wheel that there is a red and a yellow on either side. And that's what I'm referring to when I talked about how those colors are set up in a specific sequence. Because orange is made up of red and yellow. So orange is in between red and yellow. But orange, when we're looking at that complementary color across from it, blue, doesn't have anything in common with it. There isn't any blue and orange or they just don't share any other colors. And the other thing to notice about the colors orange and blue specifically is that they're also opposite each other in color temperature. So this has to do with how a color looks and feels, if it looks and feels warm or if it looks and feels cool. So the color orange in its pure orange color is considered a warm color because it has warm colors in it like yellows and reds. Whereas blue is opposite that. Blue is considered a cooler color when it's in just kind of this nice pure blue color. And the interesting thing to note about warm and cool colors is that warm colors come forward, whereas cooler colors move more in the distance. So what that means to us in our homes is that we're going to notice warmer colors first before we notice cooler colors. And so right away, just because of color temperature, those colors are really opposite one another. And then one cool thing about complementary color schemes, so colors that are opposite one another on a color wheel, is that they automatically add variety to our home and to our rooms just because they are opposite, because there's this contrast going on there. So it automatically creates a more interesting room when you use complementary colors. 
And if you want to check out more information on the color orange and the color blue, I have videos that cover the color theory and also how to use those colors in our home. And so I'll leave the link to those videos in this description. And so when we're using two different colors in a room or in our home, like orange and blue, there's one thing that you can think about, and that's thinking about proportion and how much of each color that you want in a room. And there are two approaches that you can take. One of them is to balance out a room or balance out your home with kind of an equal amount of each color. And the other is to have one of those colors kind of be the dominant color and the other color is the accent color. So when you wanna bring in both colors, orange and blue into your home in kind of an equal amount, that's where you can think about different finishes and different materials, flooring, wall paint colors, fabrics, furniture, everything that goes into your home and thinking about creating some sort of balance with both of those colors. And whether it's vibrant and energetic uses of those colors or softer versions, or even a combination of both where maybe one of those colors is a little softer version and the other color is a little bit more energetic, creating some sense of balance and equilibrium where you're kind of repeating each of those colors in a room throughout your home creates a nice sense of cohesiveness, but at the same time, some sort of contrast and variety just because orange and blue are complementary colors. And then the other way to go is to have one of your colors be the dominant color. So either have blue or orange be the main star of the show. And then the other color is kind of an accent color. So you can think again about all the different materials and finishes that you have in your home and having one of those colors be the main dominant color and bringing in that other color as almost like an accent color. And whether that's in a vibrant and energetic look or a softer look or a mix of the two where you're bringing in both softer and more energetic versions of colors, you can have one of those colors be the dominant color and the other color will just add some variety. And I think this room is a really good example of that. We can see right away that blue is the dominant color because it's painted on the walls. And of course, our walls take up a lot of space, a lot of visual weight. And so that really draws our attention. But the other cool thing is that they're bringing in this complementary color scheme of orange and blue and adding in orange accent colors in different areas of the room. One area is that they are using kind of a peach colored orange pillow on that sofa chaise. And peach is just a version of orange, just a softer version of orange. And then there's some orange tones in the area rug. And then the other cool thing that's happening in this room is that they're kind of using orange in a nuanced or more subtle way that we may not think of right away. And that is through the color tones that are in all of the wood flooring and in the wood furniture. That's one area to think about because all of the materials that we have in our home most likely have a color to it. So in this room, the wood furniture and that wood flooring has kind of this orangish warm tone to it. And so that helps to create some contrast and helps to create variety and helps to make this room more interesting instead of if they just used just blue everywhere. So that's something to think about. If you have a lot of warmer tones in your home, whether that's wood or you're using tans and beiges, bringing in a complementary color, which is blue as an accent color, just to help break things up a little bit. 
So using a complementary color scheme like orange and blue is a great way to add variety. So I'd love to know if you have any questions about using orange and blue in your home and also if you use orange and blue together in your home and where you use it. So please share your design ideas, your questions and suggestions in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.